Hey YouTube, this is your boy Big Dom bringing you a video on how to obtain shiny Gen 1 Pokemon and transfer them into your Gen 7 Pokemon Sun and Moon games every single time without fail. Now, there will be links in the description with links to other videos explaining how to do certain processes. But if you have done all of those processes and now you're watching my video, you will need to have an item set up in the following way. 89 of whatever item you need, 8F, which is crucial to this glitch, 170 lemonades, X accuracy of 178 and 177, and I'll explain that in a minute. You also need 218 Carbos, 119 Pokeballs, and 201 Fresh Waters. Now, you'll need to use the Missing No glitch to obtain any item over essentially 100 or 99 because the Missing No glitch gives you 128 on top of the amount of whichever item is in your 6 slot. So right now I have... One, two, three, four, five, six. My Pokemon in the sixth slot. However, I need to swap that with the X accuracy because the X accuracy is crucial to this glitch. As I mentioned, you will need 178 and 177. So, what you'll do is make sure that you have one X accuracy in your slot. Six. Sorry for the clearing on my throat there. Okay, so now you have one X accuracy in your slot. Then you'll need a party of a Pidgey with 233 HP currently. Max HP does not matter. You'll also need a Parasect, an Onyx, a Tentacool, and a Kangaskhan. And a empty 6 slot. That is crucial to this glitch. So, you will fly to Viridian City. walk over to the old man that was once blocking your path speak to this man tell him know that you are not in a hurry and then this will start the missing no glitch that everybody knows so we'll just get through this he'll teach us how to catch a Pokemon as if we don't already know how Oh, and also while he's teaching us this, you will also need access to Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transporter. Pokemon Bank is $5 for a 365 day subscription, and Pokemon Transporter is free within the Pokemon Bank, so you can just download both of those. Okay, so now that he's taught us how to catch the Pokemon, tell us how we need to weaken it, we will fly back to... Cinnabar Island and surf on the east coast of it by walking over here going to Pokemon and using surf until we encounter Myth and Mill once now if you run into other Pokemon that aren't Missing Mill then you can just uh, run away from them and continue to surf. So we've encountered Missing No, which is perfect. And then we will run. Now at this point, you'll go into your menu, select item, scroll down to your 6th slot, and now you have 129 X accuracy. What you're going to want to do is toss exactly 79 of those away. Now by tossing 79 of them away and then encountering Missing No one more time, that'll bring you up to the 178 that you need. Whoops. There we go. So, yes, it's okay to toss 79 of those. 
Now you're left with just 50 in your party. And then you can continue to surf after you exit out of your menu. And here's a prime example of running into a Pokemon that obviously is not meant to be here, but is, but you can just run away. Not a big deal. It doesn't break the missing no glitch. Um, and as long as you don't get out of the surfing, you don't need to fly to Radiant City every single time to perform the missing no glitch. Now it could just be a minute as if you already knew that sometimes ah oh, shoot let's see if actually it'll let me I think the fact that we're still encountering Pokemon that aren't meant to be here is a sign that it's still okay. Yep, perfect. Okay, so scratch what I last said then about as long as you don't get out. Um, of surfing apparently you can uh, I just learned that just now by giving it a shot so now that we encountered M or missing no same thing uh, go ahead and run one more time and hop onto here and go to your items and that'll give you exactly 178 X accuracy now you're gonna want to switch that and I didn't mention this before but to switch items you press select once and then select again once you're at the spot where you want it. Okay, so now that we have the proper setup once again, what you'll want to do is save it. Walk over to your Pokey Center. Open up your PC, Bill's PC, change box to, and you also want to make sure that there is no Pokemon in box one other than the Pokemon that you're going to transfer over because it will not work if you transfer over more than one at a time as it will glitch out and possibly erase your save file. So. I'm going to go into box 2, I'm going to withdraw my Charmander, change box, back into box 1, and I'm going to posit him into box 1. Now I'm going to just view his stats so that you can see his attack is 22, defense is 21, speed 25, special 24. Now you will see that the when we execute AF the first time, the speed and special numbers are going to change. I will show you. And what it's doing is it's actually setting the DVs to 10 um, which would make it shiny upon transfer so we'll go to item use 8f once okay now we will go into here view charmer under stats and you see his speed went up to 28 and his special went to 23 okay Now we'll go back in the item. 
Now, X accuracy, like I mentioned before, is very important because now you're just going to toss one, bringing it down to 177 X accuracies, which changes the attack and defense by setting those DBs to 10. Use 8F again. Now you'll want to save it at this point. And you will see that Charmander's attack and defense have also changed. To 24 and 22. So, now that we've made our Charmander shiny, I will show you proof by saving. Yes. And we will go into our Pokey Transporter. Pokemon Red version. Okay. And you can see our little Charmander in there. Okay, so it's saying that we're game is being saved and the Pokemon is being transferred to the Pokemon Bank. Okay. So then we exit out of the Pokemon Transporter, go into the Pokemon Bank. Putting it into my copy of Pokemon Sun. Alright. And we'll go over to the transport box. Oops. And as you can see, the Charmander is shiny. Now we will move it into our Pokemon box. And actually I realize you guys can't see the bottom screen. But actually okay. Oops. So sorry guys, one second. There we go. And there's our summary to our shiny Charmander. Now the great thing about this too is that you can take that Pokemon. Obviously I'm not going to take a Charmander onto uh, Battle Online. But you can do that by just transferring it to the festival plaza and having fun with it all right guys that's my video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time